Welcome back to my Let's Play for Magical Star Sign. Let's see if we can't net ourselves a spaceship. Oh crap, it's daytime. Intruder detected. Eliminate. Eradicate. Exterminate! Yeah, I know, these robots don't have any passion, but... Earth's getting power right now, huh? Too early. Ow. Okay, experience eight. Is there any beam pops around here or whatever? Nope. Sure is detected. Cleanse and dis disinfect. You're gonna cleanse me, huh? Just enough, anyway. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure, it's like purge, purge, purge. So now it's two on four, huh? Yeah, we defended. And we missed on that one. I didn't realize who the target was. Die. That's around the moon wants to be tying juice into this place. No, I could avoid these guys. Or if you just kill them all. What? I just like to kill stuff, okay? These guys are tougher than the ones outside, huh?
Jeez. Now Night Spawn, so my powers are at their greatest. Be afraid. Oh, well, we'll be back for it later. Let me make this quick. Cube face protocol, is that what it said? Alright, look at it. It's that red robot again. If anything catches us, it'll throw us on our ears. Well, that wasn't too hard. Intruders detected. Intruders detected. Eliminate. Eliminate. Guess we got no choice here. Would prefer not to fight this while Earth was in the um correct space, but whatever. I'll make up for it. I'm not sure what Jackpot does, I'll have to look it up. Darn it, I missed. Ouch, I felt that one. This is going to be really stupid, but we're going to attack anyway. Now, obviously, if I was smart, I'd be guarding to limit the damage. I mean, I'd take this turn.
But that didn't come out to bite me in the butt anyway, because I killed it. Hurry up, Wakami. We have to get this rocket off the ground before more of those robot things show up. And we're stealing yet another rocket, because that's what we do. Prepared for liftoff. Please execute a command. Space pot new amount. Prepared for liftoff. Please execute a command. Hey, who's there? Who's Numamon? Ah, this t thing is blasting off. Altitude climbing. Wind speed 3.2 knots. Air temperature 21.2 degrees Celsius, I'll assume. Visibility 7 miles. We're blasting off into space. Yes! But uh, where are we going? Ah, the water planet. Oh my gosh, what is this place? Hey Okami, is this Poofon? Mm, does look much like a wind plant. Guess these rockets go where they want, and not where you want them to. There's no way this is a wind plant. I mean, look, this place is like, well, wall to wall water. Maybe it's a little breezy, but I doubt that's enough to qualify for being a wind planet. Ooh, look, it's... Otters. Captain. There we are, rocket and coming. We got some metal and space fares, methinks. Hmm, is it the space police? No, there'd be no space police rocket from the looks of it. Then we have nothing to worry about. A handful of space tourists won't trouble us, I dare say. This planet's freezing cold! I thought we landed on a water planet, but it looks more like an ice planet. Sure, a good reason could blow some ice cubes our way. Send your gale, all right. Why it doesn't move the one we're on, we'll never know. Woohoo! Look at what I did! Now well, you can stop a sandstorm, moving a bunch of ice with wind probably shouldn't be that hard. Um. <sighs> Think my eyes have frozen open. Welcome to Cassia, the water plant. Well, it's more of an ice plant now. You came here on that rocket I saw earlier, didn't you? That must be the life. When you're tired of beat up, tired and beat up from fighting, it must be nice to warm your feet inside that toasty rocket and rust up, huh? Yes. That sounds like a life. Oh, what I'd give for a pair of battery powered socks right now. What was his name, anyway?
Oh no, we got attacked by something. What on earth is this, coral? Die, coral. What the? That barely hurt it, then maybe it's resistant to magic, so let's try and see if we can kick it to death. That works better. Ow. Okay, got a green frog. Ah, it's frozen solid. We actually really get sugar stars right now. Oh, it's so slow, we might get extra turns on it. Ah, everything's frozen. Hey, uh, Okami, is that what I think it is? It looks exactly like one of the rockets I saw back at the academy. Well, we can't make good use of a lot of that stuff till later, I guess. Um, thankfully they're almost out of their powered up range, I guess. Oh wow, kicked it to death. Things are looking grim, don't feel ashamed about running from battle. Sometimes you need to save your bacon. Treasure chests are funny. Sometimes you get your hopes up and there's nothing but junk inside. Other times you don't expect much and they contain something fabulous. Know much about experience points? Every time you finish a battle, you earn summon. The more you earn, the faster you gain your level. Simple, right? Will they have anything profound to tell me, though? MP stands for magic power. It's a way to measure how much magic you can use. You've tried defending yourself from attacks during battle, right? Give it a shot. It's not a bad strategy. Except most of you don't know where the attacks are going, so you can't do it. You could kick back during a battle and do nothing, and you'd still recover some magic power. So if you run out of MP during a huff battle, don't worry about it. Seriously, it's no biggie.
HP stands for hit points, of course. It's an indicator of how much damage you can take. Hey, this will be worthwhile, maybe it won't. Oh, we got a level up, huh? <sighs> well, I was going to give you this long lecture on how to repeat the same thing you do in the last turn of battle. Now I realize all that info is probably already in your encyclopedia. Use as much magic as you can during battle. That is, if you want to win. Just saying is all. You can also punch and kick your enemies. Little fisticuffs can do come in handy when you're running out of magic juice. Or against enemies resistant to magic. Ah. Uh. I have some info for you. I'll try not to blow your mind, but no promises. You see, not all treasure chests are visible right away, or even all the time. Some chests may be visible or invisible depending on where a particular planet is in its orbit. So basically what you're saying is I gotta come back and double check places sometimes for chests, because the chest might be invisible due to where a planet's located. That's a terrible idea. Back. Ah, T eight hundred. T eight hundred. Is that you? What? Well, where's your head? So your classmate T eight hundred. Oh, Kai, it is T L a hundred. It has to be, don't you think? Yep. I knew it. I knew it. Poor T eight hundred. Wow, what happened to him? Yeah, well, we're going to have to find out who took his head. Hey, hey there, welcome to Pescado, the port town of Casilla. Oh, how I wish. I wish the Fire Otter of Legend would return and make Casilla a warm place again. Brr. There's an... Old, old, old town with lots of old stories. Go ask the story storyteller. He lives in Hus up north. Ugh. Oh, it's a revive item. Okay, that's why it's so expensive. I think I got a hair clip, don't I? Let me see. Yeah. Oh, 
Well, that was nice. Um, all the others are holed up in a hut east of here to keep warm. We doors aren't so good in the cold. The reason I came trudging into town is that rock I saw fly overhead. This is all b because of the Long John b b Brothers. They they live in this this a f f f freezing house. Their idiots you brought, brought, brought back that ding hermit lab. It's all their freezing. We're the Long John Brothers, and our job is to protect the Dragon God. Don't know about the Dragon God? Gene will tell you all about the whole thing. We've been hearing about pirates learning about the Dragon Road lately. We're going to scare them away. Who do we see? The Hermit Lab. He's a cute one. I was making a villain out of our cuddly little Hermit Lab. We found him a band when he was just a pup. Sure, he can still be a little mischievous, but he'd never do anything to get the whole town mad at him. It's got to be those stupid pirates behind the nasty cold weather. I see them skulking over by the Dragon Road a lot. Cock rock doors are just up ahead, brr. Oh, come to the Nartasta Cock Rock Gate. Hold ding. Hey, it's freezing out here. My tongue is frozen. Ask that storyteller if you want to hear about it. He lives in the northernmost house of Pescado. But we can't get through here without that being thought out. I remember he's complaining about the weather. What a bunch of whiners. Hello there. Hello. Come here. Yes. And gather around. I tell the stories in this here town. What would you like to hear about? Legend of the Fire Otter. Who boy. Now that's an old one. Ages and eons ago, our planet was covered in thick ice. They say it was because of an undersea eruption that changed the climate. People suffered, although none are still alive today to tell the tale. They didn't have stoves to keep them warm like we do. They only had tiny campfires that barely warmed them. And that wasn't enough, so one by one those otters died in the long, cold winter. Who would have thought that would be the end of the otters? But one strange day, an otter shot fire from his hands. That flame burned in a cup of water for several days. The otters used that flame to stay warm and last out the end of the Ice Age. And that otter, the one who mastered fire magic in that desperate moment, is known to us as the Fire Otter. The Fire Otter set fire to a glass of water. A glass of water! That's not so easy! Thanks to magic, the water didn't freeze no matter how frigid it got outside. It never evaporated either, no matter how hot and dry it got outside. The Fire Otter called this strange water a Quirino. But the Aquarino was also dangerous. If you mixed it with normal water, the normal water took on the same properties as Aquarino. It wouldn't evaporate. If it somehow mixed with the ocean, there would be no clouds. Without clouds, there could be no rain. With the wrong hands, it could destroy the entire planet. That's why it's kept safe in a place where the evil minds can't get their creepy hands on it. Aquarino is still the way behind the rock door of the Natato Coco. Long ago, a great dragon roamed this planet. When it was angered, huge tidal waves ravaged the world. Sometimes it was wrecked. Sometimes it raked unclear water, underwater volcanoes with its great claws, making them erupt. Even so, the dragon and the otters coexisted peacefully for a time. One day, a young otter was fishing near the ocean. He thought he had stranded his line on something, and after reeling his line, he saw the dragon rise before him. The dragon pulled the poor, terrified otter under the waves, and he was never seen again. That unfortunate soul was the Fire Otter's own brother. The Fire Otter was determined to avenge his brother's watery demise. He hunted and fought the dragon bitterly for three days and three nights. In the end, the Fire Otter stood amidst the waves as the victor. On his way back home, the Fire Otter made a small grave site for his brother. There, he also built the shrine in the name of the mighty fallen dragon. Oh, I'm sure I want to go that way now. Brr, makes houses it's, has its own furnace. I wish I could curl up right next to it. Or in it. Either way. 
Hick was telling me how great his furnace is, but I guess it stopped working. He said something about the battery dying. It's really mad, too, because all his spare batteries are locked in his toolbox and he can't find the key. Everything seems to be alright now. He said he found a replacement battery. Well, I already guess what that is. All that cold weather gear, HQ Ishimi has another thing to help with the cold. Excuse me, offer. I kind of need my toolbox key. It's pretty important. He ain't just caught in line like that. I was here first, right, officer? A lot of our things go missing lately. We keep telling the space police, but they haven't done anything about it. That's not that hermit lies behind it all. I just know it. Sorry, man. Unfortunately, dogs are outside of my jurisdiction. I'm on special assignment, keeping a watch out for monsters on Mandarin Beach up north. It's the same thing every time I talk to this guy. It's outside my jurisdiction. Can you believe it? Ugh. So basically, you're being killed by useless bureaucracy. Thanks. Oh, hey, welcome. Are you hungry? Want a snow cone? Yeah, why not? We're on the traveling putty, although I'm not much of a putty anymore. More like the traveling ice cube. Anyway, the Bakov solar system contains a sun, five color plants, and co off the planet furthest from the sun. The past people travel between the planets all the time, because Sia had the best ships in the solar system. You see, only Kazian spaceships could handle the scorching tensures of the Razin, the fire planet. Yep, history can be pretty interesting. You guys have come a long way. I feel like I should give you something to, you know, celebrate. So here. Like 50 rainbow shells, and I'll make you a polka string. Oh, a polka string is a magical accessory that makes you... Love come true. Whoa, that's deep. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there's an island over the sea. I'd like to go, 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 go there someday. Yeah, I know, I can't catch the feel of freezing cold right now. Hands are frozen solid. I could hammer a nail with them. Actually, that'd be pretty useful, except I get the feeling my hands would shatter, so that's probably out. Family's been here in Pascal for six generations. But sometimes I wonder if all of us are just going to get gobbled up one day by the cold, or yetis. Could be either. It's cold. Too dang cold. Where'd that fool brother of mine stamp off to? You'd think you'd do a little focus on your job when you're at work. Are they still arguing with that guy? Er, uh, officer? Hey, I said no cutting. I'm trying to talk to Detective Bayonet here. Oh, sniff sob. That's it. I'm going home. Wow. Ah, oh, great. Oh, gross, look at that! Isn't that T-800's head? It is, I knew it, so that was T-800 we saw collapse at the town gate. Has to be, have been T-800, right? What's wrong with you people? You can't just barge into people's houses. Don't you dare touch my furnace, I just got working again. Hey, hey, hands off. I just got that battery installed, and I don't want you breaking anything.
That barrier has something written on it. Will of Wisp Academy, Class B, T-800. No way, this is T-800's head. What? It is. Hey, you. There's no battery. That's our friend's head. He needs that to live. Why'd you take it, you big damn brain thief? What? Brain thief? What are you talking about? I didn't steal anything, especially not anyone's head, bunny girl. Bunny girl, ooh, you did not just say that. Come on, you have to do something. This head belongs to T-800. What nonsense, young lady. I'll have you know I, I found this barrier in a garage sale. Yeah, I bought it on sale. Anyway, it's mine now, and if you don't leave me alone, I'm calling the space police. That's a big fat lie, you big fat liar. Alright, fine. If it's so important to you, I'll give it back, but you'll have to do a little something for me first. The only reason I need this battery is because I lost my toolbox key, and that's where my spare batteries are. So you can find it and bring it back to me, I'll let you have this battery. What kind of deal is that? <sighs> fine. Just tell us where you lost it, and we'll see what we can do. That's the problem. I've had all sorts of stuff go missing lately. I have a pretty good idea who's been taking it, but... I don't want to say anything more about it. I hate to get anyone in trouble, especially myself, for snitching. Man, am I going crazy? Did I just see a dog rummaging through your dresser just now? Oh no, you saw him? Shoot, I'm really in for it now. What's that supposed to mean? Oh well, we'll figure it out later. Come on, Okami, I bet that dog has the key. Hold it. It's, 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 it's cool, cool. I couldn't, couldn't, can't feel my whiskers. Yeah, Dan Hurt Lab. He's been been out of control lately. I think I think it's because he's been following some evil master's orders. Whereas they've never shown their face in town, that's for sure. Well, I'm gonna leave off here. Until next time, then, where I guess we'll be chasing after that darn dog. Till then, see ya.